Alright, here's a quick tour of my Nintendo computer build. Uh, you can see my finished keyboard over here, the tray inside the Nintendo, the case itself, motherboard, DVD drive, hard drive, custom mouse, and the modded controllers. So first we'll start with the motherboard. We have a C7 processor, a half gig of RAM, and uh, this part that you see right here is a 200 watt power supply uh, that plugs directly into the motherboard and so I can power my DVD drive and hard drive. Here we have a tray. The motherboard will mount upside down in here. Here's a headphone jack and the video jack. And you can see back here we have, I can't see it, there's a little power jumper right here and um, the channel 3-4 switch now has a jumper that goes to the DVD drive so that will eject the DVD. Uh, here you can see um, the power reset and the power LED are all here and then you can see them on the side. Here we have the video and audio outs. Uh, this is painted gray to match um, the original case on the outside. Those areas are exposed. Moving on, here's the original NES case. These are just USB and there's no chip or anything. And they just go straight to the controller ports so that these modded controllers, there's a USB chip in here and in here so that they can uh, both work via USB and so um, really by the time they get out to here they're already just USB signal so this just functions as a USB extension there's nothing magical about it. Uh, the good thing about that is this USB mouse is now just USB but it plugs in so it's always USB now it just has a new cord. And the same thing with the keyboard this was originally a Keytronic and uh, put a little water slide decal and I shaped it after the NES Advantage which is why I did the decal. And over here you can see I switched Keytronic out for Nintendo that came right off of um, a Nintendo controller that I'd already, already gutted for something else. Um, so I will put this up and uh, quick do a little build and you can see how it all comes together. Uh, the motherboard will mount upside down and the ports will all be facing out to the side. The good thing about building this little inner case, I can play with uh, the hardware. So I mean, this is just a VSC7. I'd really like to get um, one of the Intel Atom chips in here. If I could get a dual core 330, that'd be really cool. And uh, the good thing about this is I can just swap it out whenever I want. I can put in new hardware, and uh, that makes it really nice. That was one of the one of the design features I really wanted with this Nintendo build because a bunch of them I see and, and one of the Nintendos I did, you know, you just slap everything in there and just kind of glue it in place and um, you're sort of limited to whatever hardware you had at the time and well, it gets outdated quickly. So uh, this tray here just sits right down flat. And then the Zelda drive goes in, and it just happens to be held in uh, with a little bit of uh, pressure so that the top comes uh, up and the motherboard's below, and the whole thing just comes together. 
and so when it's finished it, it really won't jiggle around and uh, that's just one of those things I discovered as I was building which made it really nice so just hook up power and everything One thing that could be improved in this build is cable management. Um, I'd really like to do some custom cut cables for this. Um, and that way it'd be really a lot easier. Right now the hard drive is just held, held in by uh, a little bit of friction as well. It's not the best thing in the world. Um, I'd really like to do it differently. But for now it just sits right by the motherboard. and. Uh, best I could do for now. I think I'll, I'll find a way to mount it right kind of where it is, but for now it's not a big deal. And once everything's together, um, it really doesn't make make a difference. It doesn't, it doesn't move once it's all plugged in and the wires are there. You get the top on and um, maybe a DVD drive or, um, or the hard drive can move. So I'm just plugging in all the all my little extensions, all my outs. So now my TV out will work, and I should be able to eject the drive. So here we have this. It's all put together. You can use it as a little test rig, which is really nice. Um, you can work outside the NES. You don't have to be opening and closing everything all the time. Um, it's one thing I really like, and the whole thing will drop in, and uh, it's just ready to have the top put on. So I plug in my US USB extensions, and it's ready to go. So maybe quick show you guys. So here everything's in place. You can see the disguised Zelda drive, which I love, and it's, I guess, kind of a trademark. I've always done it. Um, you can see the painted parts of it now that are exposed. They just look like part of the case. Um, so I'll put the top on.